take those times. You can't switch categories. So it's uh, part of his logical apparatus then to introduce those categories. Then in chapter five, he comes back to two senses of the word substance. Remember that? Primary substance and secondary substance. And in case you've forgotten since last week, primary substances are particulars, secondary substances are forms. Okay. So he's, um, he's doing that sort of thing, setting it up and elaborating on that primary secondary substance distinction in the material we have from the categories. Now, uh, what I really want to concentrate on is the uh, posterior analytics. And uh, this is important stuff, even more important. Let me um, say it again, just um, briefly, and then we'll pick it up um, further next time. The, um, the problem that he is facing is how can we know unchanging truths for certain? Unchanging truths about classes of things, general truths. Now, obviously, if you want to know some general truth about a species, what you need to do is to know something about the essential nature of that species. It's differentia. It's essence. It's form. So the question really is, how can you know the forms? How can you know the forms? Because you want your premises to be about the forms, the essential nature of something, in order to draw further inferences that follow with equal certainty. Now, um, he rings the changes on the possibilities. Can we know the forms simply by sense observation? No, why not? Yeah, sense observation gives us just particulars, and the sense perception of particulars is relative to the angle of vision and umpteen other considerations. So sense observation doesn't tell you about the forms. What about innate knowledge? Plato's proposal. Well, you see, that was a good option for Plato, good thinking Plato, because if the forms are transcendent and you knew them in another realm in a previous existence so that the memory of them is hidden in your subconscious, then it is innate. Good thinking Plato. But Aristotle doesn't think the forms are transcendent and doesn't think you had a previous existence when you knew them. So Plato's innate knowledge doesn't help. If they're innate, we would expect people to know them. They don't. Then how can we know these forms?